Hey, what's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 8.1.3, 8.2, and 8.3. Most devices on this firmware can be jailbroken, but for a full compatibility list, you can check the description below. This jailbreak has been a long time coming, and I'm extremely pumped to show you how to do this. If you're excited to jailbreak your iOS device as well, make sure you click that like button, and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, now that we are on our Windows computer, we can begin the tutorial. For the record, I am using a Macintosh computer emulating Windows to jailbreak my iOS device because as of the upload date of this video, there is currently not a Macintosh compatible jailbreak tool available. However, if any of you Mac users are interested in learning how I jailbroke my iOS device using a Mac, hit that like button and if this video exceeds 600 likes, I'll definitely have that tutorial out for you all tomorrow. Anyways. On to actually jailbreaking, an important note is that if your iOS device was updated to 8.3 over the air, aka without a computer, this jailbreak may not work. Therefore, it is much safer and recommended that you back up your iOS device and update to iOS 8.3 again using a computer via iTunes or with the TIG Pro program linked in the description below. As well as for this tutorial to work, you need to make sure your computer already has a version of iTunes installed, which I'm sure you all have, but if not, you can download it by following the link in the description below. With all that being said, to begin the jailbreak, open your preferred web browser and type in the URL tig.com backslash en. This will be the website that we'll be using to get the jailbreak tool and the website of the creators of this amazing jailbreak, the TIG jailbreak development team. Now, a ton of appreciation and commemoration should go to this development team for creating this amazing jailbreak tool for us and for free. Once you arrive at the website, you can download the jailbreak tool by simply selecting download TIG jailbreak tool. Now, the download speed of this tool may depend on your internet, but it should not take too long. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and open it and open the .zip file that you just downloaded by double clicking it and then double click the application and select to run. This will open the TIG jailbreak tool and it'll load up a couple of things as it opens, but once it's done, it'll ask you to connect your iOS device. Go ahead and connect your iOS device and once it's connected, it'll ask you to trust it if you have not already trusted the computer that you're using to jailbreak your iOS device. So if it does ask you, go ahead and select trust. If it doesn't, then that's completely fine. You should be at the next step, which will ask you to turn off find my iPhone, which you can easily do by going into settings, iCloud, to go off, find my iPhone, put in your Apple ID password and select turn off. Once you do that, you can go ahead and recheck. And if it didn't ask you to do that because you already had it off, then that's completely fine. And we can start the jailbreak. But before we do that, make sure you unclick 3k assistant if you do not want to download any additional things besides the jailbreak and the Cydia application. Once you do that, you can go ahead and select start and it'll start the jailbreak process. However, a problem that many users encounter is that their jailbreak will get stuck at 20% while mounting their device. Now, this is a common problem, but it can be easily solved by exiting out of the jailbreak tool and uninstalling a couple of programs by going into your control panel, selecting uninstall at the top right. And the three programs that you want to go ahead and uninstall is Apple application support, Apple mobile device support, Apple software update, and iTunes. Once you uninstall those four programs, you're going to want to go ahead and open your preferred web browser again and type in the URL, the iTunes that is compatible with your Windows version, whether it's the 32-bit or the 64-bit, which you can easily find by going into your control panel and finding the properties of your computer by right-clicking and selecting properties. Once you've downloaded this new version of iTunes, go ahead and get back to where we were before, which was 20% jailbreaking. And if it does not get stuck, what'll happen 
is that it'll restart your device and continue with its percentage. Once it's done restarting, it'll go on to continue with your percentages. But if your device has a passcode, it'll ask you to unlock it. So go ahead and unlock it if it does have a passcode. But if not, then it'll just continue on with the jailbreak process, which may take some time. It may not take some time. At least for me, it took a solid 15 minutes to go through all of these percentage things as it went through the process of jailbreaking for you it may be faster or it may be slower but if it ever gets stuck in one spot for more than 10 minutes then that is not good and most likely it's because you're encountering the 20 percent mounting problem which can easily be solved as i showed you earlier now once it's done jailbreaking it'll say jailbreak complete it'll restart your ios device and you'll see that it has the Cydia application on it. If for some reason it says jailbreak failed for you, then that's completely fine. Just exit the TIE G jailbreak tool, open it again, try jailbreaking again, but with your Wi Fi off and it will work. But there you have it, you now have Cydia on your iOS device and it is jailbroken on iOS 8.3. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated, as well as share this video with a friend and show them how they can jailbreak their iOS device with this simple tutorial. Finally, if you're interested in some more awesome videos like this one and more jailbroken content, make sure you click that subscribe button as I make iOS tutorials like this one every week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.